Let us start Stitch Max demonstration part 4. Earlier, we saw line fills and motif style effects. Here, we will see set in effects and look through the advanced features. As you see, here we have a set in object constructed using dual bezier tool. To go to the properties of this tool, either press F or right click on the set in tool option. Here, you can adjust the stitch spacing and can give multiple strokes by changing repeat count. Just like here, I'm giving three repeat count for each stitch. You can see a triple count on every stitch, but no repeats on back stitches. To see it properly, as we did in the run fill and line fill, we give the thickness of 0.1 mm to repeat count object. As you can see the stitches have spread by 0.1 mm. For the effect to show on both the stitches, go to the advanced properties of set in fill. Select both stitches in the style on option. Now, you will be able to see the repeat count effect on both the stitches. After this, we will learn other properties. So, we remove the repeat count effect by changing all the parameter values to zero. And we are back with normal set in object. Following this, click the incline fill option in set in fill parameter and put overlapping percentage as minus 35. This is the final look of the incline fill effect, which is a unique effect that can be achieved by just one button click. Now, let us see more designs. Unselect the incline fill option and enable spike stitches. In the effect, we adjust the spacing to 0.4 mm. On a new copy is created again, we will see X stitches, also known as Lucknow stitches. Now you have perfect Lucknow stitches ready. You can spread the stitches accordingly to the desired spacing. For the next design, we go to the properties and select zigzag written instead of X stitches. You can do all these effects on the set in fill by just clicking different check boxes. This will help you not have extra stitches during the manual making. Now, let us see the other properties of set in fill. We have here another object and go its properties. Change the stitch spacing and apply any motif. Then we give stitch length. The motif is not clear due to cross stitches. We have provided an option of square end to the set in fill. This helps to avoid back stitches and give border edges. Here, 
you see that the effect is applied to every stitch. You can use any motif and also use it with repeat counts. Here, the repeat count and stitch length are set as 3. Diamond face effect is cancelled and apply it with square end. Now, we want no effect and we change the stitch thickness with offset option. Hence, you can see multiple stroke effect with square ends. This one of the set and fill effects. Now, I will show you the advanced fill effects in a dual pipe shape. In the properties, we change its spacing. Select a motif and apply Swip to Fit, which will fit the stitches point to point within the boundaries. As you can see, the stitches in the motif have maintained their width as per the shape's thickness. These are some set-in parameters and there are more advanced ones as well. We duplicate the existing object and change it to normal spacing if we don't want an effect. If you select written to the same point, then you get the stitches such that it starts and ends at the same point before moving on to the next. This will look like an E stitch with boundary on one side. These are the various parameters of set in fill. Thank you and stay tuned for our next demonstration.